Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon Channel. This is a uh, oracle review of the Affirmations of the Fairy Cats deck uh, by Brenda June Sadak. And it is, let's see, do 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 do. One bonus card. Well, how many cards is it? Oh, 41 cards. So it's a total of um, 41 cards are grouped into four sections. Inspiration, contemplation, comfort, and celebration. And one bonus card, contentment. 140-page illustrated guidebook. Okay, these are a suggestion from one of our viewers, one of our subscribers, so thank you for that. Um, let's get right into it. Affirmations of the, look how cute they are. Cat owls. Let's see. So I'm just going to read the description part, and um, it also has a section with embracing and then inspiration. So you can, if you, this sings to you and it's a deck that you would like to get, you can um, enjoy those sections for yourself. Here's the deck. Oh, there's the back of it. Let's measure this before I uh, um, take it out of its wrapper. Let's see. It's just under five inches or, what is that, uh, 12 centimeters, approximately. Let's unwrap this and uh, get started with reading through all of the little descriptions that we've got going on. It's been raining a lot here and I've been suffering from allergies, so my head is really congested. So uh, that's why I sound a little bit different. <laughs> okay. Here we go. They are... Um, they're not gilded. They, they're they about the size of like a little longer than a playing card. Um, they're, uh, they're a little bit glossy, not too glossy. Nice and slidey, I like that. Okay, so let's get a close up of these beauties. So, our first card is beauty. I am the beautiful that is right for me. We all know that one person who radiates personality and charm. You want to be around them and they light up a room when they walk in. They may not look like the fashionable, fashionable ideal we see in the media, but their personality shines through and makes people feel happy in their presence. They're comfortable with themselves and appreciate their own individual sparkle. We're all beautiful, every single one of us, and it's our individuality that makes us so. Stepping into the beauty of nature is like a balm to the soul. It exists in infinite diversity in every color, shape, and size you could ever dream about. From the tiniest clover to the rarest rose, from the silky fur of a fox to the delicate tracery of a bat's wings, nature unveils itself in unending ways 
every living wild thing is perfectly content and completely whole just as it is. Diversity is the beauty ideal in nature, not conformity. Nature presents itself in ways that everyone can admire. It's time to rethink and redefine beauty. True beauty is individual and everyone is an individual. Celebrate what makes you different from everyone else. Your confidence will shine, drawing admirers like a moth to a flame. Flight. I am capable of anything I put my mind to. I trust in my ability to succeed. Starting out on a new endeavor can be exciting with the anticipation of new adventures and experiences to enjoy. When trying something new, it's normal to worry a little about the path ahead and wonder how things will turn out. For some people, the unknown is a place full of possibilities, and they leap ahead, trusting in their ability to cope and thrive. For others, a fear of the unknown can hold them back. On their, wait, can hold them back on their path through life, or even stop them from starting out. We can't discover our full potential unless we're willing to take a little risk and trust the universe to be working for our best possible outcome. Humans have always regarded birds in flight with awe, a seemingly delicate arrangement of feather and flesh. They soar with confidence. They're not afraid of falling and they don't look down. They're fully, passionately, and fearlessly committed to the moment. Don't let worry hold you back from experiencing a joyful and meaningful life. Instead of asking, what if I fa fail? Ask yourself, what if I succeed? Sometimes you just need to take a leap of faith and trust in your ability to deal with whatever life throws your way. If things don't turn out the way you expect, you can always choose another path. There is no such thing as failure, just an opportunity to seek another solution. On the other hand, if you don't try, you will never know the possibilities you're capable of. Very true. Just try. All you, all you can do is try. Fortitude. I am strength. I am ability, I am perseverance. I can do anything I have to do, no matter how hard. Life can be difficult, but coping skills can be learned, and we must never feel that we need to tough it out alone. At times like these, look to the tiniest denizens of the forest. A hummingbird is hardly bigger than a drop of rain, yet can weather the most devastating of storms. A beaver can divert a stream, changing its entire environment. These little ones don't quail against hardship or hard work. They simply know what they have to do and they do it. This dainty unicorn cat stands strong against the approaching storm. It has seen them come and go before and knows the good weather will always come again. The lightning, once so terrifying to one so small, now exhilarates and challenges. The forces of nature are awe-inspiring indeed, but this little unicorn cat knows it has the strength to persevere. Growth. I will focus my energy on manifesting positivity in my life. The smallest acorn can grow into the mightiest oak tree. While it might seem a magical process, 
it's really the inevitable result of nothing more than the right conditions. When nature is in harmony, all things work together to support optimum growth from the tiniest budding leaf to the majestic forest canopy. Nature in full bloom is an example of what can be accomplished when all living creatures manifest the best of their potential. All living things are an integral part of the growth and success of their environment. A feeling of being stuck in life is something most of us can relate to. Sometimes a period of quiet inactivity is just what we need. But when we start to feel like we're going nowhere instead of resting, it's time to take stock of how we're managing our lives. Sitting around waiting for things to get better seldom results in positive change. It's always possible to change ourselves for the better, even if it takes many small steps to get to our goal. While the journey may be daunting, if you put one foot in front of the other and never give up, you will get to your destination. If you never try, you will never get there at all. Okay. Metamorphosis. My limitless potential is just waiting for the right moment to be released. From a lowly earthbound creature to a gorgeous airbound jewel, the metamorphosis of a caterpillar into a butterfly is surely one of nature's most breathtaking and beautiful transformations. This is nature's ambition at its finest, a tiny and inspiring work of art. As humans, we sometimes forget the huge potential we all have within us to change and grow. Mystery. I embrace the unknown as a source of opportunity. The forest at night is a mysterious place, coming alive with countless nocturnal creatures that go unseen during the day. As creatures of the day, we don't set foot into the night without a twinge of unease. Surrounded by eerie calls of unfamiliar animals and ominous rustlings in the undergrowth, we can't help but feel a little frightened. While strange for us, the nighttime is comforting for those out and about under the moonlight. Sharpened senses easily see through the darkness that is opaque and obscuring to us. And oh, what wonders we might see if we brave that darkness. Entire species that go unnoticed during the day grace the deep woods with their presence. Glowing insects weave trails of phos phosphorent phos 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 phosphorescent <laughs> uh, in the undergrowth. Flowers that only bloom under the moon release exotic scents into the cool air. If we always choose perceived safeness over adventure and new experiences, we only see half of what the world has to offer. Oh, nurture. I love, I support, and nurture those in my life. I am committed to bringing out the best in everyone, including myself. Animal parents are fiercely protective. They do their best to keep their children safe, comfortable, and nourished. A mother bird will sit on her eggs for weeks until the chicks are big enough to break their shells. They emerge tiny and weak and count on, the, on her to look after them until they're big enough to fly from the nest. While childhood in the wild can be brief and dangerous, Animal babies can always count on their parents to keep them safe. They can thrive and grow without ever doubting for a moment that they are loved. And when they've grown up and are ready to become independent, 
they are fully prepared for all that life requires of them. Not only do they grow up in an atmosphere of love and affection, they're also taught the skills they need to have in order to survive. Creating the conditions for success for our children is a powerful way to change our world for the better. Just like a parent in the wild, we can all do our best to help our children grow up to reach their full potential. Children who are brought up with kindness, love, and patience become kind, loving, and confident adults. It's also important to nurture ourselves. Remember, we have limit, limitless potential to grow and change for the better. We just need to create the conditions to help support one another. Patterns. I can look beyond the chaos around me and see meaning and purpose in my life. When we look around while outside in nature, a quick glance presents a riot of seemingly disorganized life. The sheer diversity presented to our senses is beautiful, but at first impression can appear as chaotic. Underneath all looming flowers, rustling leaves, and busy animals going about their business, an infinite progression of patterns keeps things organized and flowing. Once we dig down, we can appreciate the omnipresent webs that interconnect all species to a dance of harmonic beauty. We begin to see the purpose and organization that keeps all life in perfect balance and can appreciate how order rules our existence. Spring. As sure as winter always makes way for spring's joys, I will never lose hope even when all seems bleak. Spring is a time for rebirth, a glorious time of frantic activity. Spring represents a return to order and a reminder that all is right with the world. It tells us that there is always a light at the end of the tunnel and that life is cyclical and eternal. It gives us hope and keeps optimism alive during the uh, long, bleak winter. And it reminds us that life needs its slow times to regenerate itself. Spring gives us an uplifting feeling that starts out subtle often with only a change in the wind direction and a small rise in the temperature. You can feel it in the air with that part of your ancestral soul that still remembers sleeping under the stars in the days of humanity's infancy. As the tender sprouts emerge from the ground, we wait with bated breath for blossoms to unfurl. Spring calls us to action, urging us to get outside and lose ourselves in pure joy. Stars. I am just as important as everyone else. My existence is crucial to manifesting the universe in its present state. When we look up at the stars at night, we're amazed at their beauty. We're also overwhelmed by how remote they are and how vast our universe is. As humans, we have only a tiny part in the grand dance of existence. So we have a hard time wrapping our minds around how infinite our present reality is. Instead of acknowledging our small place in the universe, we tend to think of ourselves as the center of existence, which may blind us to the potential that's out there. Being small in our universe doesn't mean we're unimportant. Everything that exists influences life around it. Your existence has an effect on others in myriad ways, 
and therefore each of us serves an important purpose. Our very actions shape our reality every day because the world would not be the same without each of us. Okay, so this is the contemplation section. Balance. My needs are as important as the needs of others. I will not sacrifice my well-being for the sake of anyone else. A balanced life is a harmonious life. It's that sweet spot where everything in your life is given exactly the attention it needs and all the pieces click together. A balanced way of living isn't sacrificed or doesn't sacrifice one aspect of our life to share shore up another. It promotes health and wellness, harmony in relationships, and the energy to carry out the necessary day-to-day -day tasks. Nature left to its own accomplishes a glorious dance of equilibrium. Every single living creature has its place that is equally important to the success of the whole. A complex system of checks and balances keeps everything working harmoniously. In our own lives, it's important to realize when we're putting too much energy into one area and not enough into others. We all know people who work too hard, consume too much, or spend money they don't have. It's important not to confuse passion with unhealthy obsession. Passion helps us to achieve our goals while obsessions have negative consequences. Courage. I have the ability to overcome and succeed. I will not let fear limit my possibilities. In times of crisis, the tiniest creatures have the internal strength to stand up and protect themselves or their young. Smaller birds will dive bomb hawks to encourage them to move along. Tiny animals like rabbits and mice will attack predators that find their hidden young. All creatures contain the potential for courage, and they use it when they need to. When the time comes to do what they need to do, they do it. Humans, on the other hand, can find themselves paralyzed by fear. Fear-based living keeps us from reaching our potential. While it's comfortable for some of us to find our niche and stay in it, it pre prevents us from finding out what we are really capable of. Life should be thought of as an adventure, but you can't experience an adventurous life if you're scared to take a chance once in a while. We all have the potential to be brave, although some of us may have forgotten it. When a crisis comes, we can either rise to meet the challenge or we can relinquish control and be buffeted by the winds of change. While being courageous does not guarantee the best outcome of a situation, it can help you maintain control over your life instead of having others decide your, your fate for you. Death. I let go of my fear of death and joyously live in the moment. Death is inevitable, inescapable, and frightening for some of us to contemplate. Yet it is something we all have to experience one day. It's incredible that something that is such an intrinsic part of life is so mysterious and inscrutable. The simple truth is that no matter how much we try to see beyond the veil as humans that that knowledge is simply not given to us. All living things come into being, fulfill their purpose in life, and in the end, return to the ground. The discarded husk of every being is broken down and returned back 
into the ecosystem, which in, in turn promotes growth and supports the birth of future generations. The circle of life is a beautiful and full of purpose. The creatures of the forest don't worry about dying someday. They live in the moment and carry out the tasks they need to survive. Even those who are allotted only a short time on this earth won't waste it in worry. Unfortunately, the same is not true for many of us humans. We allow fear and worry to eat away at our peace of mind, letting something that has not yet come to pass diminish our presence. We can't fully enjoy anything when we are afraid of losing it. We don't fully live if we are worrying about dying. Well, uh, those are definitely true words. Okay, and I'm gonna pause it here for a second because I have to cough, hold on. Okay, depth. I will cultivate compassion for others by acknowledging there are reasons for the way they behave. Look at a still pond, what do you see? Do you see the surface with reflections of clouds? Do you see the floating plants that bridge the depths with the, with the sky? Or can you see what's going on below the surface? All three views are accurate, and you can see all of them at the same time if you try. An old saying goes, still waters run deep. That's true for the motives behind human behavior. It's easy sometimes to label people according to their actions, but there is always a reason behind everything we do. Even if it's buried so deep, we are not aware of it in a conscious level. Look past the facade that people wear. It's often there to shield the pain they feel inside. When we acknowledge the pain in others, it helps us cultivate compassion an essential step to spiritual growth. Once you feel compassion for someone who has hurt you, you can help them grow by treating them with understanding and love. And if they hurt you beyond what's acceptable for you, you can walk away without anger or regret. Once you begin to see the reasons behind negative behavior, you will come to realize that there are no evil people just broken and damaged souls in need of help. One of the worst injustices we can do to another is judging by appearance. Physical attributes are like reflections on the surface of a pond. Both can often hide what lies within. Closer to a person's heart is their actions. A fertile pond bottom will give birth to plants that grow strong to break the surface. In the same way, a generous and peaceful heart will manifest actions that nurture and build others up. In helping others, we make the world better for them, ourselves, and everyone who they come in contact with. environment. I honor and appreciate our planet. I do my utmost to sustain and nurture the environment. Without doubt, human habits are the biggest challenge facing our beautiful planet Earth. Our economy is based on an unsustainable model that takes and takes and never gives back. We value things more than our living world, and there is continual push for greater consumption. Our modern society is based on collecting stuff, and that emphasis on purchasing is threatening the very future of human existence and our planet. Nature at her best is balanced, self-sustaining, and truly represents the infinite variety of possibilities life can offer. Every single part of nature exists as an equally important part of the whole. It's only when man steps in and tries to manage things 
that nature becomes unbalanced. We've forgotten our place in the world and we're tearing it down around us in vain, in a vain attempt to find meaning and fulfillment in our lives. It's time to take positive action to protect the earth. Mindfulness. I will cultivate a quiet mind to fully experience the present. Some days it feels as if we move through life in a state of barely controlled chaos. It seems like all the controversies of modern life that are promised to make things easier are just overcomplicating things. We're often overstimulated and exhausted. There's always so much to do and not enough day to do it. When we do get a moment to settle down, too often we spend the time in front of a screen. This isn't true living. Spend time in a forest and you'll experience an enveloping sense of calm. In Japan, they call it Shinrin-yoku or forest bathing. Time spent in nature watches washes the static from our weary brains and restores a sense of peace and order to the soul. Next time you're in the wild, look around and see how every living thing is concentrating on the one thing they do best at any moment in time. Grass grows, flowers bloom, animals go about their day-to-day -day business one task at a time. They're focused and energized and living life wholly as nature intended. It's possible to bring this state of mind to your everyday life through a practice known as mindfulness. Quite simply put, it's the state of being fully present in the moment. This isn't as easy to do as you may imagine especially since most of us are conditioned to constantly multitask. But there are some simple techniques you can practice in order to help calm your thoughts. Silence. I remove the distractions of modern life to help me listen better to my authentic self. Leaving the modern world behind and stepping into the forest feels like diving down into a cool, still pond. We don't realize how overbearing the constant noise that surrounds us is until we remove ourselves from it. While far from silence, the sounds that occur in nature are gentler and more soothing. The deeper into the forest you go, the quieter it becomes as the trees begin to insulate us from the outside world. What remains are sounds that are beautiful and a balm to our overstimulated lives. We can hear our own breath again and our thoughts are protected from the noise and distractions we experience every day. The constant chatter and noise of modern living Fragments our concentration and keeps us focused on the external instead of being mindful of our own thoughts and feelings. We grow addicted to background noise and feel uncomfortable without the constant distraction. When we never tune out the noise, it distorts our thinking and keeps our minds in a constant state of stimulation. The result is that our ability to focus on the here and now gets diminished and we're left with a vague sense of unease when things are quiet. This state of mind removes our appreciation of the similar things in, simpler things in life and keeps us from finding a spiritual state of equilibrium.
Solitude. I will distance myself from the world in order to know myself more intimately. Are you afraid to be alone? Sometimes it's scary being by ourselves because it removes the distractions and validation provided by the people we surround ourselves with and forces us to recognize our genuine selves. If you're used to relying on others for dis direction, setting out on your own path can be daunting. It's important to find time alone so you can really begin to learn who you are and what you want away from the influence of others. Some of us are so scared of being rejected, we try too hard to please others. We don't act like our genuine selves and fall into the habit of ignoring our own needs and wants. In time, this can lead us to forget who we really are and we begin to define ourselves by how we interact with others and constantly seek approval from outside. Your worth isn't defined by what others think of you. Every living thing is important in itself because it has a purpose to play in the whole of creation. That means you too, although some days it doesn't feel like it. Without you, the world would be entirely different. No matter how big or small our role is in this life, it's important and it matters. You matter. Spending time by yourself helps you understand who you really are. And if you find yourself overworked and overwhelmed by day-to-day -day life, you need time alone to re recharge. You deserve this as much as everyone else. True, 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 very true words. Sprout. I see the potential in everything, especially me. Sometimes it's hard to see the potential in things, especially when the going gets rough. It's hard to believe that a shriveled bulb holds the soul of a flower, waiting for the right conditions to grow and bloom. Even the most barren landscape holds the potential for beauty and transformation. You can see miracles waiting to happen everywhere if you look with your heart as well as your eyes. Every single human soul holds the potential for growth and a higher purpose. It's important to remember that we never lose the capacity to improve our lives and the lives of those around us. Training our minds to look for the potential in every situation is a solid first step in manifesting abundance in our lives. Winter. I know good things are awaiting me. My patience will always be rewarded. For many people, winter is not their favorite season. If you live where it gets very cold, the season of winter can seem long and lifeless. A quick glance at a snowy landscape reveals only the occasional glimpse of life, a squirrel visiting a cache or a chickadee flitting among the bare branches. The creatures of the forest know how to prepare for lean times and how to endure them, no matter how harsh the environment. Nature always finds a way to celebrate and preserve life. Even the tiniest creatures cope and adapt because it's in their nature to survive. When faced with difficult times, remember that everything eventually passes. Sometimes all you can do is sit tight and wait and know that you have the strength to get through it. Living through hardship will make you stronger more resourceful, and better prepared the next time difficulties come your way. Knowing that we all suffer and that suffering is inevitable can be very freeing. 
It allows you to see that your troubles are not a punishment, but a human condition we all share. This knowledge can give us a feeling of compassion and kinship with each other. I, okay, so this is uh, the comfort section. Adaptability. I accept change in my life, trusting that the things that are truly important will never fade away. From the seasonal cycles that change the landscape and predictable patterns to the awesome and chaotic power of weather to sculpt our world. Nature is a restless force that constantly reinvent, reinvents itself. Without change, life would stagnate and new growth would not be possible. Life evolves over time. And sometimes the old has to be swept away to make way for the new. While things seem to be con to constantly change on the surface, universal truths underpin our existence, creating an enduring foundation that our entire world is built on. At times we find change scary, and we prefer to live our lives predictably and safely. We see change as destructive and do our best to prevent it from happening. Change reminds us that we are not always in control and that revelation can be frightening. We need to remember that things change, not to be destructive, but to support the continuity of life on our planet. In our own lives, an attitude of adaptability helps us to adjust to new situations and helps ensure a successful future. Embrace change. Ah. Affection. I allow my love to flow freely to others. I receive the love of others with gratitude. Without question, our furry friends love each other and us. Anyone who has ever shared their home with an animal companion can tell you that they give love unconditionally. True. Animals love to cuddle, cuddle as some of us who always end up with a lap full of cats can attest to. Inspiring examples of unconditional love can also be found among our feathered friends, many of whom mate for life, rivaling the greatest of human romances. For animals, love is given easily and affection is effortlessly appreciated. Humans have every bit as much need for affection as our wild kin, but sometimes we need a nudge to overcome our inhibitions. We may have been brought up in families that are reserved or that discouraged outward shows of affection. No matter with a little practice, we can all learn to open our hearts and show our loved ones how much we cherish and care for them and let our affection flow freely. That's awfully true. Awfully, awfully true. Autumn. I have a strong work ethic. I know what needs to be done and I can do it. Autumn is the busiest time of the year in the wild. Nature's bounty is ready to be harvested and her children take advantage of the cooler days to put away provisions for the long winter ahead. All wild animals that need to stockpile food are at their busiest and days are full of bustle and great sense of purpose. By the turning of the leaves and the cool snap in the air, they know it's time for work and they get to it. The brilliant hues of autumn are both a call to work and the promise that nature will re re reward industry with ease and security during the winter. 
As the leaves fall and preparations wind down, all creatures begin to relax, drifting into winter with the comfort of a job well done. Hard tasks can be daunting, causing us to doubt our energy or abilities to manage them. Stressing over tasks that need to be done takes our attention off the here and now and prevents us from enjoying our lives in the present. You can't be happy if you're dreading a task you need to do. Even worse, shirking work can set us up for failure in the long run. While we all procrastinate from time to time, knowing how to get started is a skill that we can work on. Ah, faith. I trust in a higher power working for the greater good of myself and all living beings. Where humans falter, nature never loses faith. Life can be harsh and unpredictable, yet all wild creatures under heaven live their lives as they were designed, without questioning their future. Every living being has a purpose to serve, and we honor the Creator by living our lives to the best of our abilities, trusting in divine purpose. We all have a part to play in the miraculous dance of life, and while we might not see what part we play as individuals, we need to have faith that the universe is continually working toward the good of all. Humans are curious creatures and have a drive to understand the inscrutable uh, wanting to control the unpredictable. Yet just a quick look outside shows us how harmonious life can be when every living creature, animal, and plant lives in the moment and leaves the future in the capable hands of Mother Nature. The complexities of life on earth, the beautiful interconnections and patterns that underscore all of existence are proof of the wisdom of the universe. We need to remember that we're only a small piece in the puzzle, but without us, the puzzle would be incomplete. Without your existence, the cosmos would just wouldn't be the same. You're that important. You really are. We all are. Family. My family loves, cherishes, and accepts me as I am. I love, cherish, and accept my family unconditionally. Families in nature come in all kinds of forms. Some extend to packs that include multiple generations, with all members helping to raise the youngest. For others, it seems like one parent takes on all the responsibility, like the gentle deer who raises her fawns without benefit of a fatherly influence, or the male seahorse who gestates and births his children. Some animals mate for life, raising their offspring as a shared effort. There is no one definition of family in nature. Instead, there is an arrangement that works to ensure the best possible benefit for all individual species. The same is true with human relationships. It's wonderful that times are changing and more unconventional family arrangements are beginning to find acceptance. Your family members are those who appreciate you with all your quirks and flaws. They encourage you to realize your full potential and are always there for you when you need it. They don't judge you for being different and in fact will help you celebrate the things that make you unique. Family is pure love and acceptance. Relaxation. I make my well-being a priority and blissful blissfully enjoy a moment without care. 
It's no secret that our furry friends know how to relax. If, you're, if you've ever lived with a cat or dog, you know they like to sleep most of the day. This I can testify to 100%. Phyllis sleeps like 20 hours a day, and usually she's only click clacking around when I have this video on or when I'm on the phone. Um, it's much the same in the wild. Although when we see an animal in its native habitat, it's nearly always hustling and bustling about. That's because animals at rest are hidden to us, protected by camouflage and a talent to remain still. What we don't see are the birds quietly resting on branches, heads hunched down and buried in ruffled feathers, or the squirrels relaxing in the fork of a tree. This gives the illusion that life in the wild is constantly busy, never slowing down for a moment. We can only see one side of the coin. So many people don't make rest a priority and work too hard and too long. We end up burned out and with failing health. The simple truth is we need to rest in order to be happy and healthy. We need to find balance in our lives and allow ourselves downtime without feeling guilty. Very true, very, very true. Scent. I surround myself with the sense of nature to evoke memory, promote healing, and enjoy peace of mind. Spring is a riot of unfolding colors and delicious scents tantalizing aromas of earthly bloomers, early bloomers like lily of the valley and hyacinthus, hyacinth, hyacinth. Wake our senses up from a long winter, calling us to come outside and enjoy the changing weather. As summer rolls around, these spring blossoms make way for showy perfumed flowers like lilacs and roses. Autumn's scents are more subtle and crisp, stirred up by feet crunching through leaves and blustery winds shaking through forest pine boughs. Winter brings wood smoke from fireplaces wafting in the breeze. Scent is the sense that powerfully evokes past memories. Our brains make strong connections between smell and the things we experience in our lives. A single whiff can transport us back in time to relive a memory that may have been long forgotten. The scent of a particular perfume in a crowd can instantly bring to mind a particular person, no matter how long it's been since you've seen them. The scent of gingerbread baking can transport us back to a childhood memory of Christmas. Natural essence oils are, gentle, are a gentle way to experience aromatherapy. I love aromatherapy. It's awesome. Sleep. I release the cares of the day and effortlessly drift away into sleep. Effortless, rejuvenating sleep. It's something we all need, but so many of us find elusive. Not so our furry friends. Um, okay, that sentence didn't make sense. Whether a kitten curled up in a uh, convenient nook or stately lions sprawled out in the shade. All creatures, big and small, have no difficulty drifting away and enjoying peaceful, restful sleep. Our ancestors enjoyed the same ability to sleep as the animals around them. They were attuned to the rhythm of the sun and moon, finding themselves in harmony with the rest of nature and slept and rose with the setting and rising sun. Today, our modern life seems to do anything but promote good sleep. We find ourselves too busy to get all we need 
uh, to get done in one day and so go to bed far too late. We work by unnatural schedules, forcing us to rely on alarm clocks to wake us up before we're fully rested. We forget that quality sleep is crucial to our health and mental well-being. That's true. That is very true. I've been practicing um, sleeping without an alarm clock lately. Just because we, do, I don't need it. I don't need it. And I'm not going to disturb my rest. Um, sun. Oh, she's pretty. My heart is energized with every rising of the sun. My heart is light, bright, and shines with positive attitude. The sun is the ultimate source of life for our planet. Without its shining energy, life on Earth simply wouldn't be possible. It's no wonder so many cultures worship the sun as a deity. In the far reaches of our history, our ancestors welcomed the day with awe and reverence. They carefully tracked the majestic movement of the sun's dance with the seasons, creating rituals to celebrate milestones in the wheel of the year. The ancient Egyptians worshiped the sun uh, god Ra, uh, who is sometimes depicted as rising out of a lotus blossom, growing from the primordial earth. Over time, the sun has lost its mystery for us, and we now know the science behind its radiance. While the sun is no longer the mystery it once was, it's every bit as awe-inspiring today as it supports our sustenance, health, and well-being. Okay, let me turn the page. These pages are thick. This is a nicely made book, I, I must say. There we go. Oh, is that a bad cat? Cat bat? Bat cat. What do you think? Well, let me know in the comment section. Is it a bat cat or a cat bat? Tenacity. I am strong, resourceful, and adaptable. I am able to navigate the storms of life, attaining my goals through tenacity. No matter where you look, creatures make their homes in the hardest, harshest of climates. Even places where the challenges of life seem insurmountable. Life not only exists, but thrives. From the hottest desert to the deepest trench in the ocean, life always finds a way to express itself. You can see this in the way the soft roots of trees work their way around the rocks of the earth. Given the smallest of opportunity, life will find a way. We're all familiar with the expression, all good things come to those who wait. Often when waiting for something, we want to happen, we begin to lose patience with this sentiment. So many of us hold on to a dream for so long and then give up in frustration before it can come to fruition. Remember that the best things in life are worth waiting for. Yes, I know that. I have been waiting for decades and decades. In decades. Okay, so this section is the celebration section. Abundance. I trust in the universe to provide for me. I am grateful for what I have. Nature excels at providing for her children. In a balanced environment, all creatures have access to what they need to thrive. Animals don't have to worry about how to get sustenance as every leaf, fruit, seed, or berry is offered up freely to those who need. The circle of life is perfectly equipped to sustain all. In the fall, when the season begins to wind down, the foragers find ample supplies to store away, 
to keep them through the harsh winter. Nature in her infinite wisdom provides for her children in abundance and they in turn enjoy a brief season of feasting before settling down for the long cold months ahead. Sometimes we get so caught up in materialism that we forget how rich our lives really are. You can't fill the hole in your heart with the things that you buy. And you can't appreciate how fortunate you really are if you are always craving more. Blossom. My life is full of amazing potential. I'm a beautiful flower about to blossom. Surely one of the most gorgeous outcomes of nature's diversity is the unfurling of a blossom. Flower, flowers fill the wilderness with beautiful color, graceful form, and luxurious fragrance. Either singly on a branch or in clusters that cover the forest floor, flowers are a delight to the eye and catch our attention with a quick glance. They herald the spring thaw and grace the summer months with beauty. They truly represent the pinnacle of nature's potential. Each of us holds within ourselves at least one bud waiting to bloom. This is the genesis of our true calling or passion. It's the potential within waiting to express itself in our personal growth. The daily grind often replaces passion with practicality. Think of how much better the world would be if we all had the time and means to explore what's really meaningful to us. Who knows how many more brilliant poets, artists, and great thinkers there would be if they'd been encouraged to blossom. As a society, it should be our job to nurture and support the growth of talent and the creative arts. I agree. I agree with that one, 100%. Oh, it's a peacock cat. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but I'm not going to do it. Um, color. I am happy and creative. My life is colorful, joyful, and inspired. One of the first things we notice about any landscape is color. Limitless blue skies, crisp green fields, and pops of multi-hued flowers make us feel happy and inspired. Color truly has the ability to affect how we feel and adds variety and beauty to our lives. In the wild, color is not only gorgeous, it also serves specific purposes. It can attract attention like the brilliant hues of a peacock's tail. It can also hide like the camouflage of a malted moss wing. Um, or, or it's mottled moss wing. Nature uses color to stand out and also to blend in. It can signal maturity, like the ripeness of a juicy red apple or danger in the brilliant colors of a coral snake. Color has the power to inspire us and to influence our moods. A pop of color in our wardrobe can make us feel happy and confident, while a simple gray suit can help us blend into a group. Different categories of colors can help us alter our moods and send specific messages on a subconscious level. And then it has um, different... Uh, Different colors, reds, blues, yellows, greens, browns, blacks, and whites. Next card. Okay. Diversity. Diversity is beautiful and life-affirming. I celebrate, accept, and encourage diversity in others. It is the building block of nature. 
The more complex an ecosystem, the healthier it is. The wider the variety of life, the better it functions. And the more <clears throat> resilient it becomes. The icing on the cake is that diversity in nature is beautiful. It allows creatures to evolve and adapt to take advantage of every niche available. Diversity celebrates life and contributes to the health and well-being of all. Just as complex environments encourage growth, health, and harmony, diverse cultures show us the potential for human innovation and evolution. Divergent ideas help us to see problems from other angles and give us insights we couldn't achieve on our own. Learning to accept and honor others because of their differences helps us grow along our spiritual path. Treating others with respect has the potential to create a harmonious life for all. Think of how much better life could be for everyone if we just practiced tolerance. Wouldn't that be great? Freedom. My physical body does not limit my experience of the cosmos. My mind and spirit are free to grow, learn, and experience wonders. In humanity's infancy, we were much more connected to the world around us, including the stars in the night sky. As we sat around our fires at night and looked up, we beheld those myriad sparkling lights and imagined them to be the campfires of our ancestors. In this way, we felt a kinship with them and didn't feel tethered to the earth permanently. We believed that after our time on earth was done, we'd rise to meet our ancestors and live in the sky in a glorious new life. While we knew that life could be hard, we truly understood that this existence couldn't contain us and we had utter faith in the glories to come. As the centuries moved along, humankind used curiosity and intelligence to develop new skills, new tools, and new ways of organizing ourselves. Civilization became more complex and to a degree life uh, and to a degree, life because easy, because easier. Uh, I, I think that they meant to say became easier. While we understand more now, we believe in the miracles that are miraculous less. When we focus on physical comforts, we forget the freedom of an expanded mind. We need to rediscover our connection with the cosmos. I agree with that. Music. I raise my voice in song and join in the joyful celebration of life. Unscripted and inspired, nature's wild music greets us as we enter the forest. Dawn is celebrated by a chorus of birdsong which settles into more languid notes as the heat of afternoon approaches. As the brightness of the day dims and cools in the evening, more gentle sounds like the occasional hoot of an owl and the chirping of crickets and frogs are heard. No matter what the time or season, nature abounds with the happy music of creatures celebrating their very existence. In nature, Music is multi-purpose. It proclaims joy and signals intent. It's communication in its purest form, as nuanced and complex as human speech. Humanity has always striven to create its own music. From the very dawn of time, we have embraced music as entertainment, communication, and worship. Music is ubiquitous today and fills our lives from wake to sleep, from the alarm clock that starts our day 
with our favorite radio station to the music that helps us relax at night. Musicians are among the most admired artists, inspiring many of us to create our own music. Remember how all of us as children broke into uninhibited song simply for the joy of it. Singing or playing music is a very pure way of pr practicing mindfulness and it's within all of our abilities to learn how. That's right. I mean, if you're not dancing while you're doing dishes, you are missing out 100%. Passion. Nothing will hold me back from enjoying life to the utmost. Ah, spring, a riotous time of activity in the wild. The days grow warmer, milder, and fairly burst with the potential for new life. Animals scramble to attract a mate, and the amorous calls of birds fill the air. It's a time of reckless abandon and pure joy. Passion drives all living things to manifest the expression of life to the fullest. Passion is living in the moment and allowing yourself to fully feel the joy of experiencing something you love. Daily obligations can make us feel less passionate about our lives. While all of us need a little structure in our lives, too much becomes overwhelming and we no longer remember the sense of possibility life once had. If you have forgotten what it feels like to be really excited about something, it's time to rediscover your passion for life. <laughs> Is that a catfish? <laughs> oh, that's funny, okay. <laughs> Summer, every day has potential for joy. Today, I choose to be happy. Summer is truly the happiest time of the year. It is the time when all living creatures can pause and enjoy life to the utmost. Animal babies grow and play while their parents relax before the busy preparations for winter begin. Food is plentiful and the evenings are languid and friendly. Summer is a time of rest and rejuvenation, a time for warmth and healing. Sometimes as adults, we need to be reminded to slow down once in a while and allow ourselves time to enjoy life. When we do take time to rest, often we feel guilty and don't enjoy it as much as we should. There's always so much to be done. While our lives may be comfortable and secure, how many of us experience true joy, especially day to day? If we have forgotten how to play, we need to reignite the spark of childhood whimsy, that magical way of looking at the world that sees the potential of fun in everything. True. I agree wholeheartedly. These are wonderful definitions so far. Very, very enlightening. Whimsy. I will stop taking myself so seriously and find joy in the friv frivolities of life. Life in the wild is not always serious business. Observe animals and you'll see that even full grown, they don't forget how to play. If you've ever owned a cat, you will have seen no matter their age, they never lose the urge to be silly once in a while. Even the most reluctant wild mother can't resist joining in the fun when her little ones beckon. Play for young animals helps them develop skills they'll need when they're all grown up, which is true of human children as well. It helps us see the world creatively and teaches us to think outside the box. Childhood imagination allowed us to see life as wonderful and exciting, full of adventure and new experiences just around the bend. It let us explore all the possibilities the world had to offer in a safe and creative way.
Ooh, wild. I will not allow a social convention to define me. I will follow my heart along unconventional paths to find my authentic self. How unconventional is your life? Is it exciting and motivating or regimented and boring? Do you forge your own path or play by the rules? While most of us are pretty content with our day-to-day -day routine, sometimes we get bored and feel uninspired. We do what we have to do to get by and get buried under obligations. If you're feeling trapped, it's time to break free of routines. The wild creatures that live out their lives in freedom do best without the taming hand of man. As humans, we often seek to control everything around us. We suppress natural urges and impart a rigid structure to our societies. In our hearts, we're, we're still wild and independent, but we've just been taught our whole lives to live up to society's expectations. The tiniest mouse in the field is freer that some of us will ever be. It doesn't worry about living its life according to someone else's ideal. It simply is. Bonus card. What's our bonus card here? Our bonus card. Contentment. Well, isn't that beautiful? I am perfectly happy with my life. My gratitude and patience manifest perfect contentment. In nature, when it's storming, there's nothing to do but wait it out. Activity stops and all the creatures of the forest find a cozy spot to patiently watch the rain fall. Watching the raindrops from their sheltered space, they patiently wait using their idle time to rest and simply be. They know nothing can rush the forces of nature and they trust in the promise of clear skies to follow. Storms come and storms go, but life continues without fail. Contentment is what we experience when we practice patience and gratitude in our lives. Patience is the ability to set aside anger and frustration while waiting for things to change. Gratitude is an expression of appreciation for all the universe has given us. When we are grateful for what we have, it allows us to deal with setbacks without becoming stressed and upset. We know that the universe is working to manifest bounty in our lives, and we're willing to wait for it. We don't allow adversity to take our minds off the many blessings we enjoy. Gratitude is how we show the creator that we appreciate what we've been given and contentment is the feeling we get when we know all in our lives is how it should be. Well, that is a wonderful deck. Now, if you're looking for um, an, a, a cat oracle, um, I got to tell you, this is probably the best cat oracle I have seen or reviewed. I've reviewed a couple of them back in the day. Um, but I, I really enjoy this a lot. This is a beautiful oracle deck. So there you have it. Affirmations of the fairy cats deck and book set. If this is something that you enjoyed, there is an affiliate link in the description box below that will take you directly to the page where I purchased this. Other than that, if there are other, um, I'd like to know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. But if there are other decks you would like for me to review, just put the names of those decks in the comment section below and uh, we'll see what I can do about uh, getting them and reviewing them for you. Other than that, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.